Hi, did you know that there are all sorts of filters that you can add to your photos in Canva? I was talking to one of my team members this week and she was saying that she hadn't realized they were there. I think I, think I have covered these before, but I thought I'd just do a refresher session as these have been updated with the new Canva settings. Let's get up to my screen and we'll take a look. I just put up a presentation slide so you can see it. And what I'm going to do is simply go to Elements and add a photo. And I really want to use one that I've used recently. And I'm going to right click and set the images background. And now if I click on, because I have the new Canva Glowed Up screen, I have this toolbar at the top and I can click Edit on there. And down the right, I'll get all the options. I get the Magic Studio options. And then I get to the filters. And I'm going to click on see all of the filters. And you can see currently it has none. And to start with, you have these very natural filters. This is Fresco. And you can change the intensity of any of these. It doesn't work so well on some of the natural ones. Flint, so it's slightly stony gray color. Luna, yellow, and mist. And then you can go to ones that start to change your image completely. So this is Bali, Capri, Latte, which does look very coffee-like, Bronze, Sandy, and Sangri. And I'll change the intensity on this one so you'll probably see the difference more. You can see how now, because that's a stronger color, it's fading down quite intensely. That's just really giving it just a touch of the Sangri look. As I go further down, you can then have cool tunes. This is Scandi, Nordic, Astro, Arctic, Polar, and Tundra. See, there are so many you can choose from. It's amazing. And then you move on to the very vivid colors. Here you have Chroma, Rustic, Elder, Zeal, Aria, and Stark. That sounds very Game of Thrones to me. And here is if you want a softer look. So this is Aura, Hazel, Whimsy, Rose, Oceanic, and Nimbus. And then you have Vintage. As I said, you have so many options to choose from. Vintu, Fade, Antique, Nostalge, Dream, and retro. And then into mono looks as well. The classic ink, noir, film, which just look very faded, newspaper, and slate. And then if you really want a dramatic effect, you have the color pop ones. And here we have Outrun. And you can see how intense these are. We'll take these down. So you can see, but as I said before, you can adjust these very easily with the intensity level. Heat wave, amethyst, and that you can turn up and down. Minty, hibiscus, poster, X Pro, and X Pro Plus. So that was a quick tour around the amazing filters that you could add to any photo. And you can see how dramatically it changes that photo. I hope that helps, and I'll see you next week.